In this video, we're going to learn about first differences and how we can use them to find out if a set of coordinates plot out a straight line on a graph. So let's say we were given this table of values. How would we be able to find out if this table of values plot out a straight line or not without actually plotting out the points on the graph? Well, we can use something called first differences to help us determine if this graph is actually a straight line or not. So here's how we can find the first differences of a graph. First, we make sure that we've got evenly spaced out x values for our coordinates. If the x values are not evenly spaced out by value, then we won't be able to use the table of values to find the first differences correctly. As we can see, these coordinates are going up by 1 in value for the x column, so this is done right. Alright, so from here, all we have to do is take the second y value and just subtract it from the first y value. This is our first entry in the first differences column. So actually computing this gives us the first difference of 2 for this row. Notice how we place the difference in between these two y values to show that this number is the difference between them. If we do this for the next y values, namely by subtracting the third y value with the second y value, we would get the second entry as 2 again for the first differences column. Now we encourage you to follow the same pattern and fill in the rest of them by subtracting the fourth from the third and so on and so forth. So, notice how our first differences are constant in that all of the first differences are the exact same value. When the first differences are constant, we can say that the coordinates are plotting out a linear equation. And it turns out to be the case that all linear equations have a constant first difference. Awesome! Now, let's try another question together. Can we use the following table to find the first differences? If so, is the table suggesting a linear equation? Well, first of all, we definitely can use this table to find the first differences. Sure, our x values go up by 3, but remember that as long as the x values are evenly spaced out, we can find our first differences. Good! Now, let's calculate the first differences to see if the table is suggestive of a linear equation or not. So, all we need to do is start by subtracting the second value by the first value, which gives us a first difference of 5 here. Then, we do the third value minus the second value, which equals 5 again. And then fourth value minus the third, giving us yet again 5 as the value for the first difference. Therefore, since the first differences for all the columns are the same, this table does in fact suggest a linear equation. Awesome! Well, that's the end of this lesson. Now that we know how to use the first differences to determine whether a set of x and y values suggest a linear equation or not, we encourage you to go ahead and practice some questions to get the hang of this concept. So we hope to catch you in the next lesson, but in the meantime, have a good one.